From dive bars to honky tonks to speakeasies, there is no shortage of places to get a stiff drink in Nashville. But what about a bar that doesn't serve any alcohol? One business owner says Music City is thirsting for just that. News 2's Adam Mincer reports. Stephanie Still's dream is a space with all the sights and sounds of a typical bar, minus one key ingredient. This is an opportunity to go and spend the night out where alcohol just simply is not an option. Still currently owns a small alcohol-free beverage shop and believes there is demand for a booze-free bar. You can still be someone who drinks. Maybe you just want to take the night off. Maybe you're sober curious. You know, maybe you're on medication, maybe you're pregnant. There's so many different reasons why people are looking for a space like this. With a location in East Nashville in mind, still is fundraising to bring an alcohol-free bar to Music City. In 24 hours, she has raised more than $6,000 with 188 people donating. Confirmation to her that the non-alcoholic movement is here to stay. A lot of people are dabbling. They're considering that, and so they're, real, they're curious, and that's the probably the biggest category of folks that we see coming through here. And while the owner of Killjoy says that there are new options coming on the market every day, this industry is only expected to grow. According to data from IWSR, firm that tracks alcohol and beverage trends, non-alcoholic beverages are a $1.8 billion industry in the U.S. right now, and it's expected to grow 17% by 2027. Basically, anything that you can think of alcoholic, there is now a non-alcoholic version of it. It's shaking up the alcohol market. But has this industry grown enough that a non-alcoholic bar can succeed in a city where the party doesn't stop? Still says just sit back, have a drink, and watch. In Nashville, Adam Mincer, News 2. Industry experts say non-alcoholic beverage sales started to pick up after the pandemic. The consumers tend to skew younger with Gen Z and millennials making up most of that market.